Welcome to Unit 3. Unit 3 starts with the idea that cross-cultural communication not only is vital, essential in environments where different cultures are involved, but it can be an enjoyable process, something that can make us feel well. Everybody, all the persons involved in the action, in the interaction, both natives and newcomers to society and uh, places. There are several issues though that uh, as intercultural workers and especially intercultural workers with 1.5 second generation migrant background, cultural background, we need to address. These issues require some work to do on, on ourselves as, as intercultural workers if we want to reach a truly valuable result in intercultural communication. These issues require some work to do on our own mindset, on our own judgmental attitude, on our own cognitive dissonances our own blind spots on cognitive dissonances. In fact, the unit we focus will highlight on several important subjects, which are cognitive dissonances and how to reach a cognitive consistency that can make us feel well and happy in a cross-cultural communication. To deal with these issues, we need a degree of uh, deep work, deep honest to work with ourselves, and this will help us to understand better um, the other persons we have in the group, the persons we want to help as intercultural worker. So what we have to do is to follow the steps and understand um, what are, for instance, our listening skills. If we have listening skills, developed listening skills, this is an essential point as well, because in any communication, listening is uh, um, a vital point. And if we are not able to listen deeply to another person or to ourselves as well, we cannot establish a communication that is uh, enriching, enjoyable, and mature enough for uh, interactions in uh, different cultures. So we have to deal with these issues and the unit will give you some hints, some ideas and uh, some tasks, some assignments. So you will have to read some parts of uh, the um, guide for educators, the two gem guide for educators and the two gem uh, training program. Some parts related to these subjects you will have to deepen and then you will have your assignments and then quizzes, sub-quizzes to understand until which point key concepts of the issue are um, in, your, uh, um, in your mind and you have uh, understood and developed them. So we hope that uh, when you deal with these issues you will become a better intercultural worker and you will enjoy and you make other people enjoy cross-cultural communication. So we hope you enjoy the materials we have provided and this material can be a springboard for further research, study and practice on the subject. Thank you.